In today's On The Go segment, Eight On Your Side is asking, how safe are our bridges here in Tampa Bay? It is a question we had to ask after a drill rig snagged the Kennedy Drawbridge, causing a lot of concerns that the 101-year-old bridge might be seriously damaged. After a thorough inspection, though, the bridge was reopened about a day and a half later. Hey, Dr. Size Lindsay Massis is joining us this morning in the studio. And, Lindsay, you did a lot of digging around on our other Bay Area bridges. And what were you able to find out? Well, good morning, Ron Gale. You know what? I've got some good news this morning. According to the Florida Department of Transportation, overall, our bridges are in excellent condition, but many still do need some work, and the inspection and repair process is a never-ending job. Take a look at this large piece of equipment. It is what FDOT uses to inspect the Skyway Bridge. All bridges in Florida are inspected at least once every two years, according to FDOT, but those with problems are inspected more often. This bridge in Waimama is getting $40,000 worth of repairs. Chris Bridges with Hillsborough County says replacing bridges could could cost millions, so they have to prioritize. If we're going to replace the bridge, we'll look at the amount of traffic, um, the businesses it serves, if it's near schools. According to the American Society of Civil Engineers, it would cost $1.3 billion to fix all of Florida's bridges. Even a bridge in perfect condition can be put at risk due to a crash or an accident, just like the one that we saw last week on the Kennedy Drawbridge. Some of our bridges, including the Sunshine Skyway, are designed to withstand accidents like boats running into it. And coming up tonight on News Channel 8, I'm going to explain exactly why functionally obsolete and structurally deficient bridges are still considered safe. All right. Look forward to it. Thanks very much. Appreciate it, Lindsay.